Hello, this is Phil Collins. Who's that? Hello, Phil. I'm curious. Is Chester and... Hello, curious. <laughs> so, you were in the Artful Dodger. You were, you were the Artful Dodger in Oliver, okay? So is there any, any applicable analogy between this childhood role and your subsequent life journey? Well, if I said yes, it would make a much better story, wouldn't it? Um, no. No. <laughs> Yes, I do. I snore all the time, actually. Uh, heavy snoring? Do, do Steve any complaints about your snoring? No, you don't tell him how your wife loves it, please. <laughs> no, but, no I, I, apparently I, I get nudge in the ribs, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It's... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I remember coming out and, and there was Elton and Fergie over there and there was Diana in the middle and uh, no sign of Prince Charles now. So that was... But that's another story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's probably in the book as well. No, that's not in the book. No, no, no. I, okay. I, well, I, I want you I to... I want to live. Well... <laughs> <laughs> this is where I slip into something a little bit more comfortable. Well, this song is uh, dedicated to all those perverts in the audience tonight. It never ceases to amaze me just exactly how many perverts I attract and how few I actually meet. Maybe I can meet some of you after the show. And we can watch together. Anyway, for those of you that are far too shy to admit to being a pervert, I'd like to give you a crash course in perversion. Uh, in England, at least, I don't know what it's like in Los Angeles, but uh, in England, to be a pervert, you have to have a few things. One of which is a piece of women's underwear. And I never go anywhere without this underwear because every night after the show, I go back to my room and put it on. It's a little bit big for me around the bus, but I'm getting into it, you know. I'm gonna keep taking those steroid injections and I'm gonna fill out eventually. You think I'm joking. One of the other things you need, of course, is a glass. Because if you're feeling a little shagged out, you can always listen to the people next door doing it. I know I do. M music question. 
Peter Gabriel was the front man of Genesis when the band was formed. And then you came into the light after he left. So what are your reflections on this time and this transition? Uh, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Any crime in your family at all, Dad? I mean, oh yeah, my sister. She, she, she's a stripper. Well, that's not a crime, is it? Hey, take your clothes off. Oh no, she don't take her clothes off. She goes up on her ruse and takes the lead off. <laughs> well, you know, you, you go through a divorce, and uh, you know, sometimes it's like. Please, I love you, I love you, I love you. Don't hang up, don't hang up. And then it's like, well, you. Yeah. And then, of course, that's when a song like In the Air Tonight comes out. There's obviously yeah. a lot of anger in there. That's when that drum feel comes in where it goes... By the time the end of the program comes, you'll be good at this. <laughs> you know? and, and Nicholas is... Uh, is, is going to be 16 by the time we do the shows, but he's already played the US Open and he's already played some shows this year. This year. But he's, he's fantastic. He's so gonna he's going to be my drama, yeah. When, when you go on tour and yeah. then... And here's, here's a picture of him practicing with you. Yeah. And there he is. That's a pretty cool moment. Yeah, that huh? was taken last week. <laughs> and, uh... He's Benjamin Buttons. He's yeah. unbelievable. He's a magical child. you now. I'd like to introduce you to the three guest musicians that we have up on stage here. <laughs> hey, wait! I can all hear you saying to yourself, hey, that Bill, he must be a little stoned or something. Because I only see two other guest musicians on stage of my own. Yes, you've forgotten about Roland, the bisexual drum machine! <laughs> Another gorilla has escaped captivity near the studio. <laughs> and apparently we're at a heightened level of risk because gorillas are mainly attracted to two things, as you probably know. Bananas and Phil Collins. They love... <laughs> oh, Phil! What are you doing? <laughs> Phil, you're... Oh, no! 